This is a special message to my fellow Revenge fans who have followed my channel and who has liked my reviews and who have shared with me your comments based on the show. You guys rock. Now I know that you've noticed since Revenge has been back from its little break. I mean, how many breaks has Revenge taken in the in season four? Like three or four breaks? But anyway, they've been back for a while and I have not reviewed Revenge. Why? Because I am protesting the show. <laughs> I'm not watching it right now. Why? Because I can't take the fact that Margot is the one now going after Emily for revenge. That really makes me mad. Um, The last episode that I watched was episode 13, Abduction. And when Margot was standing in the window and when Victoria was trying to talk Margot out of her revenge and Margot would not listen, it just made me really mad. And it made no sense for Margot to be going after Emily. And also I was kind of mad at Victoria because Victoria didn't really tell Margot the whole truth, which is she really led the girl over to Emily's home who end up killing Daniel in the first place and I, I can't even remember her name right now you guys I have to go back over oh Kate that's her name okay it hit me just a second ago because <laughs> I did talk about her a good bit in my previous reviews but I, I didn't like the storyline I don't like where they're taking it I don't like the fact that Margot is going after Emily for revenge and I have been reading on what's happening with the show I'm actually not watching it this is one of those shows that get under my skin because I follow revenge since season one since you know the premiere of the first episode and I've loved revenge from that moment and it just seems like a totally different show to me I don't know why but I just it bothers me and just to watch Margot go after Emily would rack my nerves and I just don't want my nerves to be that that wound up right now <laughs> and even today I'm sitting here reading the comments on on YouTube and reading the comments on Facebook and I'm just you know kind of keeping up with what's happening with the story even though I'm not watching it because you know revenge has been a show i followed and it was the first show that i started really reviewing here on my tv and popcorn channel so i wanted to know what was going on but even as i read the comments i could just feel my blood boiling and i did see the previews of the next episode lost and i'm like okay something might happen to margo but it may not happen to margo and margo honestly everybody's saying how awful and terrible she is but she's been that that this girl doesn't care about anyone she's the father i mean she's the daughter of her father her father didn't care about anyone to me um margo has no loyalty and she never really did it's not like she's turning to become something else i've also read about what she did uh to jack and the fact that his son has been taken away from him i don't I did not expect anything less of Margot, which really frustrated me as to her, this story going towards her getting revenge because, and I'm not saying she would outsmart Emily, but the writers could possibly take it to where Margot gets the upper hand. And I didn't like that. I mean, it was just enough that Emily had Victoria to contend with, but Margot is just, she's really unpredictable because Emily hasn't or Amanda hasn't really spent any time really getting involved with Margot staking her out getting to understand her life and all that not that she can't do it now but I just feel like it's just dangerous for Emily at this point and I know Victoria has kind of left Emily alone for a moment or Amanda y'all gotta forgive me I'm getting used to calling her Amanda alone for a moment but I don't know if something will happen to make Victoria stand against Emily yet again to to do that final blow to her because I mean everybody has lost a lot but Daniel the fact is he willingly gave up his life for Amanda that was his choice he didn't have to but he did it and that's the whole reason why Margo is upset no one else committed a crime other than Kate Kate went there to kill Amanda and she did not succeed because Jack and Daniel intervened in that particular uh, situation so 
I'm just, I'm mad, y'all. <laughs> I'm mad at the show. And that's why I haven't been reviewing it. But hopefully, if something does happen to Margo in this next episode, and if the story, if, if Emily gets back her upper hand, then I think I'll jump back in. I'll be able to watch it. But right now, I'm just not able to watch it because I'm too mad to even to even think about it like I could just see myself smacking my teeth and rolling my eyes at the screen and and almost ready to throw something heavy at my tv which I don't need to do because I only have two tvs in my whole house you know what I mean I'm I'm like trying to keep my furniture so (laughs) I don't want to have that issue so that's the reason why I have not been reviewing the show but I'm still with you guys. I'm reading all the comments and all that good stuff. So if anybody ever wants to update me or share your thoughts, please feel free to do so. I am here for you. And if you are a new Revenge fan and you're just now listening in to my little uh, rant and rave about the show here and you would like to listen in on more of my reviews of other shows, please, please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would love to have you as a subscriber. But rock on, Revenge fans. I am looking at your comments if you are watching the shows and you have been commenting I am definitely reading them because I'm like oh my gosh I gotta keep up but reading helps your IQ stay up too so you know I'm I'm happy about that (laughs) but then once again this is Monica you can visit me at any time my internet home at www.tvandpopcorn.com and whatever time of day you're listening to this video i do want you to enjoy the rest of your day until next time bye bye